He had some calls to make in the last semifinal game as we take a look at Nigeria's starting 11. Yeah, um, you're looking at the same lineup that came out against South Africa. No changes. Daniel Akbayi in goal. Gennaro Trois decided to go with him. Two center backs, William Truste Kong and, it, and um, uh, Omero. And in that midfield, it's Iwobi, Etebo, Ndidi. Watch out for Chukwese and Musa to hug those flanks. They played very well for the Vegas AFCON. Quick thing to point out, both teams, their weakness, goalkeeping. 90. That's a long time. I mean, um, Victor Moses was probably still in his mother's room the last time they won the African Cup of Nations. And he doesn't even play for Nigeria anymore. And he's still 28 years old. So the pressure is definitely on Algeria. As you look at their starting 11, they're going to come out in a 4-4-2. Jamel Belmadi decided to go with that. Sofian Faguli, Riyad Mahrez wears the captain arms, captain's armband, and then you have the two attackers, Yusuf Balayili. Bitter time, Africa Cup of Nations, Egypt 2019 is underway. It is the West African. He's got two men waiting for delivery to come. Is it going to come in toward the back post? It is there. And how is that wide from Bunja? Daniel Lakpe committed, missed it, and Bunja, it struck him. Out for... The footballer and one of the most dynamic footballers I've ever seen feeds from the set piece. The early chance for Nigeria is uh... this is lovely interplay from Algeria. They're getting the triangles right here, aided by the return of Alex Iwobi and Mbouli. First touch, it's still alive for Algeria. They've got players gathering, and Akbe punches away. Only as far as Bilali has got a dangerous left foot in set pieces. Where's it? Chipping it toward the back post and just a little too. Players approach the 18-yard area of Nigeria. Screaming instructions again. But it's been Nasser who sends it in now. Oh, it's a great header that should have been delivered on target. How did Rami Ben Sabaini miss that? Bunja left speechless. Oh, that ball uh, coming in. With uh, the player being in an offside position. It's a little too long for Bunja, who gets on the end of it now. A brilliant one on one situation created by Bafdad Bunja. He's unable to beat Daniel Lappe. A fine save. Big right palm out and denies Algeria. Here's Musa. That's come off the arm. That'll be a free kick. Nigeria looking to create danger from the set piece. Chiquese goes hard, but it's. Uh, couple already for Algeria breaks into the 18-yard area Toste Kong is looking to defend against him and that will not be a penalty the referee might just uh, have a quick word here and because we have VAR available I think there will be a little check but the referee's decision firstly is that there was no penalty Fugoli over the top a real chance here for Bunjak again between two defenders and that's just brilliant from Jamilu Collins the recovery from the Nigerian defense superb Uh, look to be another just a little trip up momentum wise, but he's broken into the danger area. He will be back to Igalo. They're searching the tournament hosts Egypt. Lovely ball in here from he will be set up a chance and pulled wide of targets. Only Igalo with a chance to score his fourth of the tournament. And look at this the way that it's won back. It's a devil with a ball winning ability in the middle of the park in the first place. Delivery out wide. This is better from Mares looking to take on Jamilu Collins. Mares with his weaker right deflected in. And that's an unfortunate own goal from William Troste Kong, who proved to be the hero with the winner against South Africa in the quarterfinal, has turned it into his own net. He is experiencing the highs and lows, just days apart is William Troste Kong, scoring that late winner against South Africa in the quarterfinals. He's unwittingly tucked the ball into his own net here after Mares had done the damage down the right. A brilliant run. Situation against very dangerous opponents who have only conceded once in the tournament. For delivery in and might fall kindly here. Chiquese can't get a touch on that to finish. It ricochets kindly for Mbouli. The top here, a little too strong for Chiquese. Looks to put himself in a little pocket as well. Closed down by the Algerian defenders who are rocking back in numbers. Man who plays very focused brand of football he's going to need to be focused here this is pressure here and maybe a genuine chance to run at the defense Mares was looking to go central in Bela Eli Nigeria 1990 winners against Nigeria in the final 
Ball comes out here again. They are good fielders who can just hold things up. Meanwhile, he will be. He looks to push forward, tries a shot from a long way out, and uh, that would have been something astonishing required from that sort of range to beat a goalkeeper of Mbolli's quality from here. And Alex Iwobi is not denied the Super Eagles who search for that equaliser from the corner on the hour mark. Delivery in and easy. Iwobi slips it out wide. Chukweze looking to have a run in. Galo waits centrally up against Mandi and looking for easily away by Chidozi Awaziem. Only as far as Mares who looks to break into a danger area. Figoli with the attempted chip. Aliu Sise has now coached them to only their second final. And looking to go one better now as the man in charge. A man with the Golden boots, his 15th international goal and only his 34th appearance. Eagles fans, he will be. This is better from Nigeria on the overlap. Algeria needing to defend here in the, in the Turkish league. It's Tricoriza Spur. This is the call a moment ago, and that's come off the arm. Now we will go to a, a VAR. Figuli, meanwhile, has big caution. I imagine we're going to go to uh, a VAR decision. Figuli, meanwhile, has been cautioned for. Scored against Burundi, he scored a brace against Cameroon, and he levels for Nigeria here with 18 minutes to go. Odia Nigalo is the tournament's leading goal scorer with four, and Nigeria are back on level terms. An enormous cheer from the Super Eagles fans who made their way to the venue as they believe once again it is on, it is on. Aysa Mandi still protesting. The man who is outstanding by his performance against uh, Germany in the round of 16 at the FIFA World Cup in 2014. Who will create the chance that snatches this? Is there a moment? It'll. Mare's over it. Looks to strike it cleanly. It's a lovely delivery as well. It's only. Then. He's diagnosed with leukemia. Two years ago, Musa in towards Onyukuru looks to get the shot in here. It's gone high. is overturned. Figuli's club teammate this past season. Onyukuru was on loan from Everton at Galatasaray. It's better from Algeria, searching to go back in front by a goal. And Ben Nasser, ben Nasser looks to go around the outside. He's never scored a goal. An international match, and he comes agonizingly close here as it clatters off the crossbar and over. Ismail Ben Nasser nearly scores in added time to take Algeria through. His teammate is Figuli looks to create something here. Figuli is fired over. The mind blowing Mares has done it. Algeria are through. It will be a repeat of the group stage match with arguably the final kick of the game. The miraculous moment that is captured.